Okay, this is a 2010 Mazda 3 with a 2 liter. We have a crank sensor code. And the purpose of this video is to show you the importance of reading code criteria and the code detection conditions. First off, we're going to read our fault codes. So we have a P0335. This code is setting with the key on. If we try to clear this code, this code will come right back. Now there's no problems with the crank sensor signal, nor is there a problem with the camshaft uh, signal. I checked the circuits already. So we're going to back out of here and go into live data. Okay, so we're in the PCM live data. This is going to be our clue. Mass airflow voltage, 1.24 volts. Key on, engine off, typically you'll have two tenths of a volt. Of a volt. This is 1.24. This is going to be our clue. What I'm going to do next is unplug the mass airflow sensor, then I'm going to rescan it. So I've disconnected the mass airflow sensor. We're back in the vehicle, key on, engine off, mass airflow sensor is disconnected and our crankshaft sensor signal code is gone. All that we're left with is two codes for the mass airflow sensor. Let's take a look at the code criteria. Okay, so here is our detection condition or code criteria for the crankshaft sensor code P0335. So if the PCM does not receive the input voltage from the crank sensor for 4.2 seconds while the mass airflow is 1.95 or above, the PCM determines that the crank sensor circuit has a malfunction. Now this mass airflow sensor is creating a signal of voltage equal to what you would normally see while the engine is running. Now the computer sees this input from the mass airflow sensor and thinks the engine is running. Therefore it does not see a crank signal because we're key on engine off and it flags a crank uh, sensor code. So this is really important to go through code criteria. We don't need a crank sensor, we don't need a cam sensor. What we need is a mass airflow sensor. One more thing I'm just going to point out, there is a D on this mass airflow sensor. This is a very cheap aftermarket sensor. Uh, if you're going to replace an electrical component on your car, get it from the dealer. There is a huge difference in quality. Most of these aftermarket sensors don't work. If they do work, they won't work for long.